Donut Kids TV. Zebras are really cool animals and they look pretty neat with all those amazing stripes. Zebras are a species of wild horse and are native to the African continent. Similar to human fingerprints, zebra's stripes are totally unique. No two zebras have exactly the same markings. Zebras are mammals, which means they are warm-blooded and covered in fur and feed their babies milk. There are three main species of zebra. The plain zebra, the mountain zebra and the gravy zebra. The most common and well-known species is the plain zebra. Their habitat can be found all over the southern and eastern parts of Africa. Mountain zebras are native to mountainous regions of southwestern Africa. They are on the endangered species list with only 2700 population in the wild. The rarest species of zebra is the gravy's zebra. There are an estimated 2500 of them left in the wild and can be found in small areas of Kenya and Ethiopia. They are the biggest of the three species and can weigh almost a ton. Each species of zebra has stripes, though each has small differences in the patterns. Zebras are herbivores, meaning they only eat plants such as vegetables, fruits, grasses, roots, berries and wood. They do not eat any animals, fish or insects. Zebras can run seriously fast. In fact, they can run up to 60 miles per hour. They can even outrun a lion. When a baby is born called a fowl, just like a horse, they can run with the group within a couple of hours of being born. Zebras are famous for their black and white stripes. Here is a cool fact. Apparently, a zebra's stripes are there to help camouflage them in long grass and keep the predators away. Recent research showed that their stripes may have evolved to keep biting insects away. Their pattern seems to confuse flies and other insects. Guess how a fowl recognizes its mother? Well, from her stripes of course, that's really awesome. And yes, zebras do have social lives just like us, but they are different for each species. Gravy zebras have quite an open social group, where they might or might not hang around together. On the other hand, the plains and mountain zebras are very close indeed. They are always seen together in groups. Did you know that zebras sleep standing up? They'll also only sleep when they are in the safety of a group. You will often find that zebras join other groups of animals like the wildebeest for safety in numbers. A large herd of animals is confusing to predators. How clever are they? Astonished scientists recently discovered that plain zebras make the longest migration of all land mammals in Africa. This is rather strange. In ancient Rome, zebras were trained to pull chariots at circuses. They were called hippotigris, which means horse tiger. Though they are native to the continent of Africa, zebras usually belong to the genus called Equus. This makes zebras close relatives of both the horse and the donkey. Due to a number of factors, zebra habitats are under threat, leading to a decline in their populations and even risks of extinction. One of the largest threats to their habitats is from their land being taken for human purposes. Pouching is another cause for concern when it comes to zebras and their habitats. 
with its unusual stripes, zebra fur and skin has been sought after for centuries and many are hunted still today. Thankfully, due to protective organizations and animal activists, this issue has reduced in the last few decades.